cool. Hi everyone, Merry Christmas. We love you guys, it is Christmas Eve tonight. Pardon my lisp, I'm wearing a retainer right now that is straightening my teeth, as you guys will probably hear about in a future video. Actually, you're gonna hear about them today. Thankfully, this video is sponsored by Smile Direct, and you're gonna hear a lot more about them in an upcoming surprise in this video. I've been using them for the past month to straighten my teeth. In about three months, I will have a brand new smile, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. As always, during big events like this, I try not to vlog too much because I try to be in the moment. And I didn't have Cartier for Christmas last year, so this year is just amazing to be with her and to enjoy the holidays. You're gonna go on a little trippy, okay? A trippy? Yeah, you're gonna go on a trippy. You're gonna have fun. All right, you're gonna go see a Christmas tree, and you're gonna do all sorts of fun things. It's gonna be so much fun. I know. Mommy will see you very soon, okay? I love you, Bebe. Mm -hmm. You excited? Get excited! Mm -mm. Yeah, be excited! No. It's gonna be okay, you're gonna have so much fun. And hopefully you'll get to talk to me because I'm going to be thinking about you every day. Mm. And I'm going to try to call you every day. Because I miss you. Oh, I miss you already. Mm. Alright, can you do something for Mommy? Mommy's going to want to see this later. Can you say Merry Christmas, Mommy? I miss you, Mommy. Can you say I love you, Mommy? Love you, Mommy. I love you, too. Oh, I love you. Allie, remember this hug? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, can I have a kiss? That clip was recorded last Christmas. I had to say goodbye to my daughter, and I wasn't going to see her for the next few days over the holiday season which was one of the longest times I've ever been without her. It was a really hard goodbye. And I think what made it harder was that growing up, I was used to getting that goodbye. My parents got divorced at a very young age and I remember always having to split between them different holidays and birthdays and they couldn't even be in the same room as each other. I remember the confusion. I remember looking at TV or even going to sleepovers at my friends' houses and wondering why my family looks so different. It's hard for kids, but it's really hard going through it twice and this time as the parent. I don't think I would have survived if it weren't for my big sister and best friend growing up. We were only 22 months apart, so we butted heads on a lot of situations, but when my parents separated, we clung to each other. Since she wasn't much older than me, it's not like she could really take care of me or shield me from a lot of things going on. But when I was about seven years old, my little sister came into the world. Her name is Bridget, and I took to her so quickly. I loved changing her diapers and feeding her little bottles and just loving on her, despite the craziness of my family life around me. What she doesn't realize is that even as a baby with nothing to say or really offer, she taught me so much about how under pressure, loving people will never be the wrong option. And if anything, loving people will fill you up in a way that can keep you going through really hard times. She was the first diaper I ever changed and I just loved playing little mom to her, pushing her around in the stroller as you can see. And who would know that 10 years later, she would prepare me for this alley. A newly single mom who was raising a child by herself and the day this picture was taken, I had just gotten broken up with for the millionth time by the same person and realized for the first time ever, as much as I didn't want separation to even be an option in the future, being that little girl growing up in a separated household, it was this day that I realized that was going to be my reality and as much as I didn't want it to be, my daughter was going to have parents that weren't together. It was a hard day, and it was also her first birthday. 
fast forward to the following Christmas, I was having to be the giver of that goodbye hug and not the receiver. It was really weird. I was really mad at God, but by his strength, I made it through that holiday and so did she. And I prayed so hard that next Christmas would be better. And from a legal perspective, it would be because although I'm not entitled to every Christmas with my child, which is hard, it's just flat out hard, I am entitled to every other year, legally. This is what it looks like on paper to be in a separated household. The amount of time that you get with your kids, a lot of time is up to a court system or even just the grace of another parent working with you. And growing up, my parents had such a hard time. I was always caught in between these legal battles that at a young age, I knew nothing about. But all I did know is that I didn't want presents for my birthday or for Christmas. I wanted their presents. That's all I wanted. Both of their presents. Anyways, on a lighter note, this year was amazing for a lot of reasons, but difficult for just as many, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. 2020 didn't go according to anyone's plans, but since this is the year that I get to be with my daughter, I knew we were gonna spend it doing all the Christmassy things. And I tried to record bits and pieces and friends and family helped me, but the reality is I was just happy to be with my girl. Up, I am on my way, I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go out I really for our cookies You go there, you go there, We can go hang away. out on the beach without <laughs> freezing <laughs> Yeah, it's isn't that amazing? It's in so amazing And you can press it We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. And we spent Christmas Eve just with close family and it was perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are gonna go get a Christmas tree. Are you excited? Yeah. Are we gonna pick out a big tree or a little tree? A little tree. Little tree? Is it for you or for us? That's for me. Let's go get a tree. Baby Yoda or baby Cartier, who's cuter? <laughs> that is terrifying. Can you imagine just having that in your house? Can you imagine paying money to have that in your house? Yeah. What is that? An ornament. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at this one. You like this one? Yeah. The only thing cuter than this store is these two. I wanted to touch on a really important topic before we finish this video, and that is what changes between the age of three and let's say 15, when this is the present that your child is excited to receive. What's that diaper? <gasps> What's that? A diaper. A diaper? Yeah. What changes for a three-year-old to be happy getting diaper and soap for Christmas as opposed to a 15-year-old? And on that note, here's my 15-year-old little sister, Bridget, today. Yep, the little one that I used to change all the diapers for and taught me so much about love and life from a very young age. She taught me at the tender age of seven that no matter if things are out of your control or stressful, nurturing and loving people will sometimes keep you going. And that's a beautiful thing. So yes, now she is 15 years old and a person, which is so crazy to me. Being an older sibling is such a gift. You get the tiniest taste of the sense of bittersweetness that comes with kids that you were a part of raising growing up. And I remember what it was like being 15. And I constantly ask myself as her big sister and even Cartia's mom is, what did I need at 15? What did I need at three? And I try to be that person for them. And at Bridget's age, it is a rarity to see her smile with her teeth for two reasons. Reason number one, she's insecure about her smile because this year we could not afford to get her braces. My family has been struggling with COVID and it just is not in the budget. And even her closest friends have made fun of her for it. And reason number two is a classic teenage reason. You're caught in between 10 years old and 20. You're not a child, but you're not an adult. You're in this weird phase of having a lot of responsibilities but still getting treated like a kid. For that reason, her and some other teenagers make their smile rare to see. So I came up with the perfect gift for her this year. 
and I reached out to Smile Direct Club in an email, crossed my fingers, and hoped that maybe they'd work with me so that I could give Bridget the gift of a confident, straight smile at an affordable price. And as a big sister who has changed her diapers up until now, dropping her off and driving her to school and games, this would be a dream sponsorship for me. And spoiler, they said yes. They replied and they were so excited. They loved my idea to surprise her with a straight smile. So for months we've been planning this, the perfect time and the perfect way to reveal the surprise. So I had my best friend Noah and I take her out to eat. We got her some of her favorite food and even some dessert to celebrate her coming back from a school play. Bridget's relationship with Noah is really cool because he is all fun. He's like the big brother she never had. For me, on the other hand, it's hard to turn off being a mom to her, even though I am her big sister. So it was just really fun to get him to keep her smiling the whole night. That's hot. Oh. Mm. I feel like Cartier right now. When she ate the nugget and it burned her mouth. <laughs> How are you, Bryce? I'm good. And when we got home, it was surprise time. It really was. Oh my goodness. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you crying? No. <laughs> oh. Love you. I do. What are you thinking about? A lot of things, everything. <laughs> now I can show my smile. This was such a special moment I can't put into words, but we spent the whole night going through the box and everything they'd given us, and then pretty soon after that we started her treatment. So in about four months, Bridget will have a transformed smile. The night ended in a lot of tears, tears of happiness, tears of excitement, and just the culmination of a lot of planning and years of being in her life. This is one of the best ways I could say thank you for all of the lessons that she has taught me that she doesn't even realize she has. And she's a huge part of why I am the mom and the person that I am today. And I love her so much for it. Thank you to Smile Direct Club for sponsoring this video, for making this possible. And not only for me and my little sister, but for you guys too. If you want to get an affordable, straighter smile at home in as little as four months, you can go down below, check them out, and use my code. They have affordable monthly payment plans and you don't even have to leave your house to get a straight smile. Everything can be shipped to you to take impressions and then you get sent your all-inclusive kit. For the sake of the video, here are my teeth and what they've been looking like about one month using Smile Direct. This is the case that my aligners come in. It's really functional because there is a mirror that slides up and it just magnetically opens to show your aligners. And I love that you can't even tell that they're in. Here's what to expect when shipping. Um, also, me and Bridget got to go to a Smile Direct office near us, which they are all over the place, and got a scan of our smiles, which was really cool, just to learn more about this process that we're doing. Here's a picture I took to commemorate the moment. I'm obviously so excited. Both of us didn't realize how quick and easy this process would be, and we are so excited. And before I finish the video, I wanted to give a little update on Bridget and I's Smile Direct Club journey. How do you think the surprise went overall? It went really good. Like, I didn't see it coming, honestly. <laughs> so when we ended up going to the offices, they basically just took a bunch of pictures of our teeth instead of doing the impressions, but you can definitely do the impressions at home. Uh, my favorite part definitely was meeting the people. They were really nice, and it was just a great experience overall. Thank you again, Smile Direct Club, for making this video possible, and so much fun. I cannot wait for you guys to feel the joy of giving the gift of a straighter, confident smile to anyone that you love or even yourself this year. Because trust me, people deserve to see your smile and they want to see your smile. I'm just really glad that this holiday season went the way it did. You, you